We're downtown Rapid City today at Garbage Tail Vintage with Caitlin, the owner. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, of course. This is such a fun store and wow, what a throwback. I'm sure everyone says that about this place. It's, it's so unique. Talk a little bit about yourself and how you sort of got into this fashion industry. I started having an interest in fashion when I was maybe in third or fourth grade. I told my grandma that I wanted to be a fashion designer and so she got me a sewing machine at a yard sale. And so I would start by sewing my little Build-A-Bear's little clothes and I think I got into knitting and I've always been really into crafting. Going to thrift shops was a lot cheaper than buying new clothes and I was able to rotate my closet more and find more expressive outfits. And then I started doing Depop and I started upcycling clothes and selling them and okay. it became really successful. And so I was able to open a brick and mortar about a year and a half ago. February of 2022 is when we opened Garbage Till Vintage. And wait, what does the title mean? Or is there something with the title? Yeah, so I was sitting one day trying to think of a name and I was putting um, names into a generator. I was just trying to come up with something clever. And then I saw Garbage Pill Kids, the cards. Yes. And my aunties and I, when we were younger, we used to go to the gas station and my grandpa would get them for us and we would go through them and they were, they were fun. Some of them were like made fun of pop culture. They're kind of vulgar. <laughs> and then uh, I thought garbage till vintage. And my thought was one woman's trash is another woman's treasure too. Because a lot of people think old clothes could be garbage. And so it was kind of just a spin on that. Define vintage for me. Yeah, so vintage is anything that's 20 years or older. Oh, that's so, it. Oh yeah. my gosh, I have so much vintage then. <laughs> yeah, so anything from 2003 or older is now considered vintage. I have it by section. So I have like 90s Y2K. I have a little men's section. I have older vintage. I love stuff from the early 1900s and the textiles and stitching and all of that. And then we have some house decor. We have knickknacks. We have a $5 pile and we have a $10, $15 and $20 rack as well. And then we also have higher end vintage. So someone who's looking to buy a high end piece, they can come and find it. Or someone who wants to find a good deal. We also have that available as well. Just started advertising that, that we buy for cash. Uh, it's really important that we keep the product and money local. So almost everything we get in here, we buy from people in Rapid. And I want to try to be as ethical, sustainable, and as envir environmental as I can with this business. It's really important to me. We do buying appointments and people can come in and schedule an appointment for us to buy or we can come to you. So if someone has a house full of old clothes they don't know what to do with, our old furniture, knickknacks, all of those things, um, we're able to go to them and buy. And I enjoy meeting the people that I buy items from and hearing what they wore it to. A lot of uh, people keep their kids clothes and they don't know what to do with them and they hold so many memories. I want them to know that it will be passed on to a, to a good home and loved by someone else rather than just getting donated or thrown away or anything like that. So we're open seven days a week. So we're located at 626 St. Joseph Street, in downtown Rapid City. Seeing more uh, native owned businesses popping up downtown is a beautiful thing and I, I would love to see more native owned businesses and maybe another native owned vintage store or <laughs> buying secondhand, in my opinion, is, is the way to go. It's cost effective, it's um, sustainable, and you never know what you're gonna find. It's a constant treasure hunt, so.